welcome dear friends once again we are going to study the exercise 14.2 in which we are learning to find mean and mode also so dear friends in our last lecture i taught you the question number 1 and 2 in those questions we learn how to find the mean and mode also so let's start today from the question number 3 in this question given that the following data gives the distribution of total monthly household expenditure what the following data gives means these data gives you the distribution of the total monthly household expenditure of 200 families of a village find the modal monthly expenditure means we are going we have to find out the mode also afterwards also find the mean monthly expenditure also means we have to find out mode as well as mean also so to before starting the mode first we want to complete the mode of this this distribution so to find out the mean of this distribution let us let us adopt the method of step deviation method so in the step deviation method we have to this is expenditure in rupees monthly it is given and number of families it is given this number of families represented by as a frequency and written as small f so these number of families first of all we need to add which is called sigma f and this sigma f we can add it 4 plus 3 7 plus 8 15 16 17 3 23 plus 7 is 30 carry 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so the total number of means survey was conducted on 200 families as it was mentioned over here there in the question also so to find out the mean we need midpoint of this class interval which is written as x so let's find the x 1000 to 1500 1000 to 1500 this x represents the midpoint so midpoint of this is when you add and divide it by 2 1000 1000 500 1000 by 2 which is 2 1500 divided by 2 that is equals to 1200 50 so its midpoint is 1250 similarly you need you need to find out the midpoint of all these observations sum of these two divided by 2 so this will be 1750 this will be 2250 it is 2750 this is 3250 it is 3750 this is 4250 4750 these are the midpoints now in the next column we need to find out the value of d and this d is equals to x minus a d column we need to find out that is equals to x minus a means this midpoint first of all we need to suppose any of the value from this column is a aap koi bhi ek value choose kar sakte you are free feel free to choose so let us take the this is 2000 3250 is equals to a this is a 
A we have taken three thousand two hundred fifty. From this column, आप कोई भी एक value choose कर सकते हैं उसके according आपकी d की value change होती जाएगी So let us find x minus a. So this minus this is equals to minus two thousand. This minus this is equals to minus one thousand five hundred. This minus this is equals to minus one thousand. This minus this is equals to minus five hundred. And this is zero. It will be five hundred. This will be. This will be one thousand. And this will be one thousand five hundred. After getting the value of d, we need to find out the value of u. Or u ki value kya hoti hai? This d upon h. Now h is the size of this class interval, which is five hundred. So h is equals to five hundred. We are writing here also. So means these the value of d. This was two thousand. इस d की वैल्यू को हम 500 से डिवाइड कर देंगे सो वी विल गेट माइनस फोर दिस इज माइनस थ्री माइनस टू वन माइनस वन जीरो वन टू एंड थ्री ठीक नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ f i u i राइट मल्टीप्लाई करते हैं इस कॉलम f और u के कॉलम को So twenty four into minus four 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 is a sixteen four two is a eight one nine minus ninety six forty into three minus one hundred twenty thirty three into two minus sixty six twenty eight into minus one is minus twenty eight thirty minus zero is zero <clears throat> twenty two into one is twenty two. Sixteen into two is thirty-two. Seven into three, seven three is a twenty-one. Now to find out, as you know that the formula of step deviation method mean is equals to mean means x bar. Mean is represented by x bar equals to a plus Sigma f into u divided by sigma f into h. So sigma f we got two hundred. Sigma f u is required. So let's add these numbers. So to add these numbers, we need to add first of all all negative numbers. So these are all negative. इसको सबसे पहले ऐड कर लेते हैं सो सिक्स सिक्स ट्वेल्व एट ट्वेंटी कैरी टू नाइन टू इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन थर्टीन सिक्स नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन कैरी टू टू वन थ्री माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड टेन एंड दीज आर ऑल पॉजिटिव नंबर्स सो इसको भी ऐड कर लेते हैं फोर फोर वन फाइव थ्री टू फाइव सिक्स सेवन प्लस सेवेंटी फाइव नाउ वी हैव टू एड दीज टू सो दिस थ्री हंड्रेड टेन इज नेगेटिव सो देर फोर इसका एडिशन भी नेगेटिव आएगा सो सब चाइटेड टेन माइनस फाइव इज फाइव आफ्टर वर्ड्स जीरो इज हेयर टेन माइनस थ्री इज टेन माइनस सेवन इज थ्री Then two is remaining, means two hundred thirty-five is the value of sigma f i u i minus three two hundred thirty-five. Sigma f i is two hundred already given. So let us substitute to find the values of mean first of all. मीन एक्सपेंडिचर हम फाइन कर लेते हैं टू फाइन द मीन एक्सपेंडिचर इन दिस फॉर्मूला सब्सटीट्यूट ऑल द वैल्यूज सो 
x bar is equals to a a we have taken 3250 plus sigma fi ui is minus 235 sigma f that is 200 multiplied by h is 500 so it is cancelled e this 3250 minus 235 multiplied by 5 divided by 2 right friends so let's multiply and divide it by 2 3250 minus 5 5s are 25 5 3 is 15 to 17 5 2 is 10 111 divided by 2 so divided by 2 3250 minus 2 5 is 2 5 is 10 2 8 is 16 2 7 is 14 point 5 so you have to subtract this number from 3250. So 3250.0 minus 587.5. So 0.5, 9 minus 7 is 2. 0.5, 9 minus 7 is 2. 4, 14 minus 8 is 6. 1. 11 minus 5 is 6 and 2 2662.5 is our required mean monthly mean expenditure right friends so after getting the value of x bar we got monthly mean expenditure monthly mean expenditure of the family which is 2662.5 right friends mode to find the mode we need only the data which was given in the question means these data were not required so we need to rub these things right so let's go rub kar dete and afterwards we have to calculate the mode expenditure modal expenditure monthly expenditure of this data which was given to find the mode of this information for mode first we have to see the column of frequency and find out the maximum frequency in this let's see this is 24 this is 40 33 28 30 22 69 7 so which one is the most one so most subse body frequency kaun si hai 40 so therefore this class interval is called the modal class it means this class is called modal class it means for mode 1500 to 2000 is modal class and the reason behind it modal class what is reason behind it because 40 is the maximum frequency because its frequency is maximum its frequency is maximum that's why this class is called modal class Chha. after deciding the modal class ye clear ho jata hai ki hamara mode jo aayega wo 1500 se 2000 ke beech mein lai karega what i said the mode of this information lies between 1500 to 2000 
so let us see what will be now we need to find out few information according to the formula so informations are how to clear first we should know the formula of mode so mode is represented by z mode is represented by z and it is l plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 multiplied by h so we need to find out all the terms according to this formula so let us see first term is l l is called lower class of modal class lower class limit of the modal class and this first term of this class interval is called lower class so the value of l is 1500 now we need to find out the value of f1 f1 is the frequency of the modal class or is class ki frequency kya hai 40 after that f0 f0 is the frequency of the class preceding modal class modal class ke theek ek pehle class ki frequency to iske pehle ki class kaun si ye iski frequency 24 means it was f1 so this is f0 is 24 now f2 f2 is the frequency of the class succeeding modal class means modal class ke theek ek baad ke class ki frequency is f2 so f2 is 33 now the value of h is the size of the class which is size of the class is 1000 to 1500 means 500 difference between them after getting this information we have to substitute there in the formula substitute l is 1500 plus f1 is 40 minus f0 is 24 divided by 2 into f1 40 minus f0 24 minus f2 is 33 multiplied by h is 500 simplify karte 1500 plus after dividing this 8000 to 23 we will get 347.83 let's add these two so addition of this is 0 0.83 47 1847.83 is our required answer means modal monthly expenditure expenditure of the given data right friends so to find the modal monthly expenditure we find first of all means in this to find the mode of the group frequency distribution no need to find out any of the extra column the given information is sufficient from this we have to find out all these terms and substitute these terms there in the formula we will get the mode easily so to find the mode it is important to find the modal class and how to find the model class you have to see the highest frequency right number four given that the following distribution gives the state wise teacher students ratio in higher secondary schools of india 
find mood and mean of the of this data interpret the two measures of these central tendency so first we are going to find out the mean for mean as this information is given the number of students per teacher and number of states are union territory that is frequency number of students per teacher is 15 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 etc and the number of states 3 8 9 10 3 00 and 2 so let's find the sigma f this total 3 8 11 11 1 11 9 20 30 33 34 and 35 so there are 35 number of states once again 8 and 35 now in this as you know let's find out the value of x which is midpoint of this that is 15 to 20 35 17.5 it's 17.5 This is twenty-two point five. This is twenty-seven point five. Thirty-two point five. Thirty-seven point five. Forty-two point five. Forty-seven point five. And fifty-two point five. Right, friends. In this, we need to take the value of a. any of the value you can suppose as you wish so this is equals to this we have taken which is a so a i have written here the a is 27.5 the value of a now subtract to find the value of d x minus a is minus 10 from this minus this is minus 5 it is 0 from this minus this is 5 10 15 20 20 25 right friends so let's find the value of u i that is d upon h and the value of h is size of the class which is 5 h is equals to 5 So it means you have to divide these information by 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 five. So five to the ten minus two minus one zero one two three four and five. Now last column f y u y multiply three to the six minus six eight one the eight minus eight nine zero the zero ten one the ten. Three to the six, zero, zero, and two five the ten. Now let us find the sigma f phi u i. The sum of this is it is fourteen minus fourteen, ten. Ten is cancelled. Four is cancelled. Two plus ten is twelve. Plus twelve is the sigma f phi u i. Right, friends. So ten plus ten. Twenty minus fourteen is six plus six is twelve. So we got the value of sigma f i u i. Sigma f u is equals to twelve. Sigma f is thirty five. Right, friends. Let's substitute these values there in the formula of mean. So mean x bar is equals to A plus sigma f i u i upon sigma f multiplied by h. Substitute the value. A is twenty seven point five plus sigma f u, which is twelve by sigma f is thirty five multiplied by h is five. So five seven is thirty five. We got twenty seven point five plus twelve upon seven. Now divide twelve by seven. 
7 when the 7 we got 5 0 point 7 7 the 49 then again 1 0 7 when the 7 3 7 4 the 28 so we got the value of this is 27.5 plus 1.714 let's add these two we will write it point 4 1 5 and 7 12 carry 1 7 1 8 9 and 2 29.214 is the mean of the given data understood friends after getting the value of mean we need to find its a mode also <coughs> Okay, let's find its mode also. After getting the mean, we need only the given information. These two columns, which was given there in the question. Because in the mode, no need to calculate any of the extra column. So, after taking these questions, first of all, we will decide which one is the means which class is the model class or wo model class ko decide karne ke liye hume kya karna hoga frequency dekhni hogi kaun si frequency sabse zyada hai so the greatest frequency is 10 i think among all 3 8 9 10 3 0 0 0 2 right so the greatest frequency is 10 it means this interval is this class is the model class Right friends, if this is model class, then write down all the information. L is the lower class limit of the model class, which is 30. Afterwards, we have to find out the value of all the terms. This is F1 is the frequency of the model class. F0 is the frequency of the class preceding model class and f2 is the frequency of the class succeeding model class f0 f1 kya hota hai class model class ki frequency that is f1 is 10 f0 is the frequency of the class preceding model class that is 9 f2 is the frequency of the class succeeding model class which is 3 and the value of h is 5 is the difference means size of the class right friends so let's write down the formula of mode mode z is equals to l plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 multiplied by h value substitute karte hai. l is 30 plus f1 is 10 minus f0 is 9 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 10 minus f0 is 9 minus f2 is 3 into h is 5 right friends solve karte hai. 30 30 plus 10 minus 9 is 1, 
वन इंटू फाइव फाइव वन जा फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई टेन टू जा ट्वेंटी माइनस ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी माइनस नाइन थ्री ट्वेल्व इज एट राइट फ्रेंड्स लेट्स डिवाइड फाइव बाई एट सो पॉइंट जीरो एट सिक्स जा फोर्टी एट टू एट टू जा सिक्सटीन एंड एट फाइव जा फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी सो वी गॉट थर्टी प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव दैट इज थर्टी पॉइंट थर्टी पॉइंट सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव इज द मोड ऑफ दिस गिवेन डेटा राइट फ्रेंड्स सो टू फाइंड मीन एंड मोड बी वेरी कंफर्टेबल लर्न द फॉर्मूला एंड द टर्म्स ऑफ द फॉर्मूला देन ओनली यू कैन फाइंड मीन मीडियन एंड मोड इजिली राइट